our homes, but there are so many little eyesores everywhere that often we need a way to conceal. So here to share her top-notch tips on how to cleverly disguise your clutter, designer Kimberly Selden! Yes! yes. In our beautiful clutter-free space. I mean, clutter? What clutter? I don't see anything well, in here. You know how you come home at the end of the day and you look around, there's piles of, you know, stuff. Stuff, stuff everywhere. And you yeah. just feel, I feel, yes. bad about myself. And I don't like that. So I really do feel better when this space is clutter-free. And that's what yes. we're talking about. But spaces are getting smaller. We're doing a condo right now, mm -hmm. 450 square feet. We've got a house in Hollywood that's 900 square feet. You wow. don't want to build... Yeah. storage right yeah. that's expensive so we want to also give you some affordable ideas nice like i'm going to start over here remember okay. van life it was a thing during covid right yes. everybody got a van and they were so clever about how they stored thing and i know my girlfriend put all of her clothes in pillows which went on the bed ah, really clever right so usage yes. so unstuffed Ottomans oh, or pillows. All of her winter clothes is in there. Right? Like so much stuff. So oh, smart. look at they're all excited. That's oh. exciting. Honestly. If you saw where my right. winter clothes was now, uh, you would understand the excitement. I, I do understand the excitement. My mother would say, please don't tell your husband how excited you get over that. <laughs> that just is not what you want to show. Okay. <laughs> toys. Kids' toys. They go yes. every my son was a Lego maniac. Oh, but you know, there yes. are those like soft little cute little children who love stuff and Animals. Look how many little plushies fitting here. Oh, little hi. Teddy. Hi, Teddy. Hey, Teddy. This little hi, piggy. pig. I think his name is George. <laughs> hi, George. So, you know, you're going to choose an unstuffed ottoman that's a good size for right. what you want to store. And but I this... think that that's a nice way to do it because if you're, the whole thing about kids' toys is that, you know, the whole, the keep it in the playroom. It's never going to happen. No. So if that's in the living room, now they've got easy access to their toys and they can shove them back in there when it's time to clean it up. Exactly right. And nice. look, look how nice looking that is. So that's you can gorgeous. get one as big as you like. Yeah. So this would obviously hold a bunch of sweaters, or, yes. or well, I've got blankets in here. I'm going to show you like how nice that is, and then oh, it's going to take smart. us to our next idea. Okay, so, so anyway, do I'm you, a big fan of this. I'm a big fan of blankets. Me, right? I've got them in like anywhere where we sit. There are blankets. You know, I can't even watch TV without a blanket I in my a blanket. lap. I literally can't watch TV without yeah. a blanket in my lap. It can so, be August. I want a blanket. Right, and they take a lot of storage, right? Yeah. So you've got a linen cupboard. It's stuffed full of blankets and sheets. Get the blankets yes. out of the linen cupboard and get yourself a beautiful beautiful vintage ladder. Oh, Like beautiful. the one behind you. Okay. Maybe you're gonna find one at a flea market or a vintage sale. I'm gonna give yeah. you that. And Thank we're gonna you. use this as a double purpose. Behind that ladder is an outlet. Yeah. Right? They're always kind of in the wrong place. Maybe they're the wrong color. Mm -hmm. This is a great way to hide them. Get yourself a little ladder, lean it against it, put blankets on it if you're in the living room. Outlet? What outlet? What outlet? What? It's right? gone. It's gone. Nice. Or if you're in a bathroom, towels. Look really good there as well. Oh, that's smart. so again. It's just a way of freeing up space that you that's hidden yeah. and putting things out in plain sight, so you have more room. Beautiful. Fun. Okay, now this art is uh, the thing that jumps out at me the right? most in this space. It's like and you're anything like, hidden under there. What's hiding? <laughs> what's happening? Well, this is taking care of clutter of a different sort. This is taking care of acoustic clutter. Okay. So this is a wonderful uh, company. Marie Dooley is the owner of the company, and they mm. sell beautiful art panels like this, which they hand sew in Quebec City. Ooh. And then they are lined with this one and a half inch thick wool acoustic lining. Okay. So this is going to give you an, an acoustic rating, an NRC rating, noise reduction coefficient rating of 85%. You sounded very smart in that I, moment. I had to memorize that. That was hard. was really throwing me. Hard I was words. really, really working. How could you see the smoke coming out of it? Yes. I'm impressed. You're NRC. Okay, okay. so I wanted to know, 85%, that seems high. How does it compare to other things? So, for example, a carpet NRC would only be about 30%. But because oh. it's such a big piece in the space, it yes. can help with noise reduction. So Just like light pollution is yes. really jarring and uncomfortable, noise pollution is really hard on you. It is. As I get older as well, I find oh. I'm way more noise sensitive. It's like my right. husband listening to full volume videos on his phone. Right. I need this. Right. Or podcasters unite. If you've got a space oh. and you want to be recording your podcast at home, like why not make it beautiful with this art? So much better than that waffly, styrofoamy yeah. looking stuff yeah. like beautiful pieces that stand on their own but Very it's a nice. really good choice or if you're that person who takes your zoom meetings in the toilet don't do that but if you do that <laughs> if is you, that you know who you are <laughs> yes 
you can tell because it sounds like you're in an acoustic tunnel. Right. But you definitely need this. And very, very affordable, I will yes. say, too. If you're on an art budget, great, great oh, choice. That's good. That's yeah. very good. Guess, guess, okay, so these are beautiful. Uh, they look like wall decor. What am I hiding? Hmm. hmm. Is it the place where you tried to hang the picture and there's holes in the wall now? That could be a really good choice. Because <laughs> that's okay. what it'd be for me. So there's this wonderful vendor. They're called Hauer Market. It's a mother-daughter okay. team, and they scour the world. Turkey, China. This came from northern China. Oh, beautiful. It's called the Nico Hat. Uh -huh. And the farmers would wear it to keep the sun off their heads, but yeah. it's got this beautiful ventilation. Mm -hmm. My biggest pet peeve, well, it's not my biggest, it's pet peeve number 372, right. if I'm being honest. <laughs> when you go into a new condo with a client and you see, like, the thermostat exactly yeah. where you want to hang a piece of art. Yep. Or a big bank of light switches exactly where the art goes. Mm -hmm. I always look for pieces that have breathability that can hide those things. Lovely. And these are gorgeous. Let's talk kitchen and bathroom. Are we hiding anything? Are, aren't we? Well, I mean, I can let's. only speak for myself. I'm hiding my processed cheese, because I'm embarrassed. You do? Processed cheese? Are you, you into it? No. Oh, not see? even a little. She judged me. No, I know. So I need a place I, to hide it. I, I'll share something embarrassing with you. What I, do you got in your uh, fridge uh, that you're embarrassed about? Just I throw it out there. Is it whipped cream uh, from the can? No. I'll think about it. I don't know. Is it that, is it that it. cheese that comes in a squeeze bottle? No, honestly, my <laughs> my refrigerator has tequila and Perrier. It's That's kind a of good what's fridge. in my refrigerator. Like, don't judge me. That's yeah. a good fridge. But I'll tell you what I don't want to look at on a kitchen counter. Yeah. Paper towels. Yeah. It just makes me feel sad. So, again, <laughs> Howard Market, beautiful pottery beautiful. vessels. Aren't these stunning urns, Oh, my bowls, gosh. What are we pot, doing in the bathroom? Let's pot. not talk about it. Okay, the so toilet when, paper. when my husband and I bought our first house the yeah. owners left big Costco size packages of toilet paper That's just amazing. out and exposed oh, okay. I thought that That's was a sad. Nice gift. I think this is so much nicer this is so beautiful. get yourself a bowl that can you can throw garbage away you can hide the toilet paper just guess what's in there anything you want Okay, what is it? Oh, it's bug spray. Could be sunscreen. Could, Could be, be your sunscreen. lint brush. Could be the keys. Could be the, your yeah. chapstick. Very nice. Just, just put things away. It feels better. You'll, you'll be glad you did. Good for the brain, it's right? Nice. You got more space. So that QR code on the screen right now, that's how you actually get oh. the products that we have here. Mm -hmm. You can scan that QR code and we'll lead you to them. And then you can shop the show.